All right, so the header we have put like a 90 and then went to a 45 to the factory muffler and we welded on the Go Power Sports exhaust flange and a bolt right up to that. We don't have any gaskets and nothing's really cranked down, but then we put a little turn down. So all this will clear the original plastics. This all moves with the whole rear end. The motor kind of moves on the swing arm, so it's not going to hit anything and our air filter will tilt it down a little bit more and probably do a little heat shield, keep the heat away from it. So we're going to give her a test fire. So we are leaking exhaust on the head right there and where the flange meets the muffler and we put that little turn down and it is shaking a little bit because we're going to do a brace off the swing arm and weld a bracket onto the muffler and I'm going to put a little bit of movement just in case we ever have to tension the belt over time or anything we'll have that adjustment there and go power sports sent us a new uh, pulley to put on here because this one's chipped up a lot and it wants to stick so I'm going to keep this one for sure and just file these rough edges down and probably clean it or rebuild it later we'll do a video on that so now we can uh, make a little bracket for the muffler and um, weld it all on there and then I got to fully weld that exhaust tip and then we can pull everything off and paint it So we got the engine and the whole swing arm assembly off. Now you can see how we have done this muffler. The turn down, of course, the axle goes through here, so the turn down goes over top of it. I need to weld the bottom side of this uh, piece of tube going into this muffler. But I put a mount and I'm almost through. I cut a slit, you know, going so you can adjust the engine back and forth and not have to worry about remounting the muffler. Uh, my cutoff disc broke for my Dremel, so I need to cut the slits out, opening this hole up to this. So it'll have full back and forth movement. There shouldn't really be any movement you need because where our engine sets, I marked it on the plate. So when it's off the golf cart, I could tell where it was at, but it shouldn't move any, but I do want to leave that just in case we ever got to tension the belt after it stretches and burns some. Uh, yeah, so you can see off the uh, golf cart, how that header looks. It goes past that Dana transaxle. And then I've, I haven't tacked this or nothing, but I'm going to weld this bar in. That's just a cross brace, you know, just to beef it up a little bit more. So now we can get that welded. We got a brand new 780 uh, drive pulley from Go Power Sports. They do sell these pulleys, but you do have to contact them. They're not on the website right now, but I'm sure uh, probably by the time this video is out, they'll probably be up. And the 780 torque converter is up as well. So that's what that is, a 780 drive pulley. So now I can pull this apart, weld that crossbar, and then I can paint this thing fully. There's a few things I got to weld, like the backside we couldn't get to that with uh, it on the golf cart you know make sure everything's fully welded and then we can paint this and reassemble everything and wire it 
All right, fellas. Well, the swing arm's all painted black just with some uh, rattle can Krylon. So now we can start putting it back onto the golf cart. And I've gotten everything wired. Is that same key switch I use on everything, the John Deere key switch. I think these are about $10 on Amazon. It's just a five pin. You have a ground that goes to the chassis. Then you have a ground that goes to the coil uh, to send the wire to kill it. You have a 12 volt in and that's just straight from the battery. You have a 12 volt out that's gonna be your accessory. So we ran that 12 volt out into this toggle switch and then out from the toggle switch to the relay that we've mounted down there in the original electrical uh, box setup on this thing. That's where all the stuff for the that motor, that electric motor that started the engine was located, <clears throat> like the starter solenoid. So basically when we turn the switch on, it gives this, um, this toggle switch power. When we flip the power on here, it turns on the light bar. I work on a piece of wood. So, so basically the light bar can only be on when the switch is on. Um, and then we have one more wire to this and that is to the starter. That's the blue wire we ran up here. So that's going to give signal to the starter solenoid that's going to let the engine crank over. So we have all that done. I can start bolting up that swing arm again. Uh, the only thing that's hard about this is how short those cables are for the forward and reverse. So as soon as uh, I get that bolted up, I can put the engine on and we can figure out the choke setup. Bam, just like that, it's done. Uh, I didn't film putting anything back together because I uh, just didn't want to. I filmed pulling it all apart, so I figured you guys would uh, get the get the picture. So there's everything put back on it. We've already started. It idles good uh, since Go Power Sports sent that new 780 pulley. And remember, you can buy the 780 dr drive or driven pulley or the whole bolt-on CVT kit on GoPowerSports.com and use that discount code Redbeard. Uh, the choke is bolted to this elbow, and then it just pulls it. Works perfectly good. I'm going to crimp this a little harder just in case, but there's not a lot of pull on that, so it shouldn't ever go anywhere. On the pulse pump, so our pulse pump was bad, so we had to go get a brand new pulse pump for it. That was a uh, pain finding, but we ran the vacuum off of the insulator in between the carb and the head. I basically drilled a quarter inch hole, went and got a quarter inch brake line, cut the uh, flared end off of it, and it pushed in there really tight, and I put some red Loctite, so we got a good vacuum signal, and this can just be a breather, which I'm going to run this to an oil catch can. That's the last thing we got to put on is the oil catch can, and then we can slap the body on. Looks Which is sweet. nice and clean now, thanks to yours truly. Oh, Lonnie cleaned up the body, the back part. Anyways, and so I went ahead, instead of riveting everything back on, I put thread inserts uh, everywhere so there's going to be a rivet. You can see them. No, you can't. But they're all where all the rivets was. So if I ever have to do any kind of work on this golf cart again, it'll just unbolt off instead of drilling a bunch of rivets. So... We can't ride it today. It's raining. Of that, course. That is unfortunate because this thing is a hoop, but it doesn't get traction at all. That one wheel peel, like it's not a locked rear end, so it'll kick, you know, like a lawnmower wheel. And it just spins with those bald tires on it. Bless its heart. So we get this thing thrown back together, and you'll see it when it's dry outside. All right. Now there's this hole here. I can't remember the way this uh, whole thing contraction came apart. Oh, All the way down in there. Uh -oh. Three days later.
perfect for her. Yeah. I would want more power. That it's header wrap. So bad. The header wrap. A uh, little smoke for a good little while. Yeah. But I don't think anything's hitting. No, I think it's good. Because I was looking at the wood right here. It would, you know, leave a mark, I would imagine. If you can see where the old engine might have hit. I don't know what that is. But the uh, header wrap is going to smoke for a good little while. Always does. Let my battery hold down. Yes. Double zip tied, baby. Yeah, that'd be good for her to put around, though. Should work great. Uh, we could feel us bottoming out the suspension. It doesn't have much suspension at all. But we can take it down the road, climb a couple hills, go get some groceries. And turn the lights on. Pick up some mulch. Um, everything's wired up, though. It's all nice. She got headlights. Pretty good. Yeah. Perfect for her. All right, 440 big block golf cart here we go she is pretty torquey Good, it's real tight, but oh, I was a little scared there. I figured it'd fall out. <laughs> the suspension on this thing is it's so torquey right out of the hole.
Well, ladies and gents, uh, the golf cart is fully done. I'm actually going to maybe ride it one more time with Lonnie because he hasn't gotten to ride on it yet and uh, just take it around, maybe play on a few trails around here. And then the, uh, the woman who we built it for will receive it. I think she's going to love it. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say 21 miles per hour. That's crazy. That's uh, pretty slow. Well, you have to realize the Dana transaxle on this thing is geared at a 13 to 1 ratio. Um, you can normally get, if you keep the starter generator on there, we just didn't want to figure up how to make that thing fit in there. Um, but if you leave that starter generator, you'll actually gain about four more mile per hour because you don't have to idle with the starter generator. So you can have that torque converter belt tighter and it can engage lower in the RPMs, if that makes any sense. Uh, so 21 mile per hour is perfect for this woman. The power is awesome. It has a ton of low end power because it being geared at 13 to one. If we do a golf cart later, I wanna to try to do an eight to one uh, rear end. That's what our deuce had in it. That's why our deuce was able, I mean, it took off out of the hole like crazy and it hit 55 mile per hour that, that built 670 on that deuce. So we will be building us a golf cart next year sometime. We need to find a good candidate for it. And uh, we're actually going to be talking with Go Power Sports. They may be getting some golf cart parts, so uh, we need to wait around for that and uh, see what we're going to do. We're going to do a different suspension and everything, but let us know what you think of this golf cart in the comment section below. I know it wasn't the crazy most exciting build in the world, but uh, I think it's a good uh, baseline for people that's doing this to see what you what what it involves uh, swapping an engine out. So uh, let us know what you think. Make sure to check out those links in the description below where you can find every part that we use on Go Power Sports uh, for this golf cart and on Amazon. Uh, those links do help us to continue doing videos. And uh, thank you guys for all your support. And we'll see you on the next one. We love you and God bless. Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. Go Power Sports has a huge amount of awesome go kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.